I, I do not think, and I will say, that it is not an indication that he wanted to somehow avoid the cross. He's not saying that he wants to kind of get out of what he has, came, has come to do. Actually, I think this is showing us the emotion of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is, yes, fully God and fully man at the same time. And here, the uh, incredible, infinite weight of what he was about to do is now coming on his heart and his mind and his soul. The task that he came incarnate for The task by which God the Father became enfleshed and the word dwelt among us is here he's being crushed. Yes, like an olive under the weight and the burden that he is meant to carry. His entire mission, which was what? To bear the entire world's sin. To bear the weight of every single rebellion, every single disobedience, every single act of rejection, every single act of injustice, every single act of damnation, Jesus has come to put on himself. He's come to carry it on his own shoulders. So here you have Jesus The God-man, as he is called oftentimes. Here, being pressed under the weight of bearing the full brunt of God's justice for sin. Here, he is actually, in part, uh, fulfilling the prelude to what we believe, which is what? That there is therefore now no condemnation for us who are in Christ Jesus. Why? Because he has borne it and taken all on himself. We believe that. We champion that. We, uh, we confess that with all of our hearts. That the forgiveness of God, uh, uh, the forgiveness of sins which is preached in this gospel is a complete and total, utter forgiveness. Why? Because Jesus has paid it all. The condemnation is cleared. It's taken off of you because Jesus has shouldered it. Jesus has been crushed under the weight of it. He has borne it all for us. This is what he's doing for us here in this moment. Unlike Adam, he's fulfilling and obeying God the Father. Nevertheless, not what I will, he says, but what you will be done. The weight of sin was crushing Jesus' soul. Because he knew what was coming. The full brunt of God's wrath for iniquity was going to be poured out on him on that cross. He knew that. Again, keep in your minds. Not just all of the sins of all the souls up to that point. This roughly, let's say he lived 33 years. This is the year 33 AD. Not just from that point back. He's not just atoning for all of those sins. He's atoning for all the sins up to history in mankind's history even now. Right now in 2020. He's paid for all of them. And guess what? If the world is able to exist a thousand more years, he has paid for all of those sins too. He's paid for every sin that could possibly be committed is bought and paid for by Jesus' blood. He is carrying that weight on his shoulders. 